Hello, St. George. Father Paul here. I uh, just wanted to share a few thoughts about uh, the upcoming Christmas celebrations here at the parish so that uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit clearer in your mind. Am I really that pale? Holy cow, I need to get to Florida. Like the rest of the world, we all just want to go somewhere sunny. <laughs> anyway, that's besides the point. So let me tell you a little bit about what we're planning. Now, um, there's a couple different ways that we're going to be having uh, mass offered, um, aside obviously from in-person, which you need to pre-register and all that has to be done as usual during these COVID days. But um, so you wanna be sure to check the parish website to see if there are still any spots available for in-person. But we're also going to be offering it in a different way. One is uh, on an FM frequency and the other one is online on Facebook. So Facebook, of course, you can watch from anywhere. Um, the FM frequency will only be available probably within about 750 to 900 feet from the church. So in other words, in the parking lot. So, um, and if you're able, you can watch it on your phone uh, on Facebook as well. So for the uh, three o'clock and the 10 o'clock we're having in person as well as uh, uh, in the parking lot, we will be bringing people communion. Um, so when it, the time comes, we'll ask everyone to, who are in their cars, uh, watching the mass from their cars or listening to it on FM, that we'd ask them to turn on their lights and ministers will come and uh, bring communion to the cars. For um, the uh, five o'clock mass on uh, Christmas Eve and the 7.30 mass, that's the only way it's going to happen. Mass will be said in church, but we're going to be allowing people to be in the parking lot where you can hear or watch the mass and communion will be brought out to you. The reason for this is because uh, cleaning up with all the COVID precautions that we have to do between every mass is really a big job and we have too small a crew to ask them to give up their whole Christmas Eve and the whole Christmas day. And so we're trying to give them a little break by doing this with uh, the masses that will be only in the parking lot. Uh, that way there won't be any cleanup necessary. I know that there's a lot of folks who've been really worried about coming to church uh, because of COVID and that makes absolute sense that people need to use your best judgment on whether or not you should come into mass or not. Your health is paramount and your spiritual health is being taken care of, okay? Even if you watch it online, uh, it's still fine uh, because uh, God understands. I mean, this is, this is nature slapping us back and so we need to deal with it as best we can. So if you got, um, this little notice in your value pack mailing uh, it gives all the times of the masses it tells you which ones are available in person and which one are uh, only going to be in the parking lot again for the parking lot you won't be able to see us physically you will be able to see us on facebook if you have that availability and you will be able to hear it on the fm frequency now the issue with the fm frequency is we won't know until those days, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, which frequency we will be on. So we'll have a sign uh, at the entrances of the uh, parking lot so that everyone can see this is what you tune into on, on your FM radio. So you'll be able to hear it. Now, if you're watching on Facebook and you're listening on FM, it won't match because there's about a 24 second delay on Facebook. Even though it's a live stream, it takes a little while for it to get out there to you. So anyway, long explanation. All of this is contingent on whether or not the technology works. We'll see. <laughs> we'll hope for the best. In any case, we will take care of you as best as we can. And I hope that these days of preparation for Christmas are days that are good for you, that you and your family are able to spend some time in a way that uh, brings you closer together. So thanks, God bless. See you in church or online or on Facebook, one way or another. When we're in the Eucharist, we're all together. <laughs>